Yes. <clears throat> we have allowed <clears throat> 305 billion naira, equivalent to 1 billion United States dollars, for underway recovery by NNPC on premium, premium motor secret in 2019. We will continue working to bring it downward so that such resources are freed up to meet the developmental needs of our people. <clears throat> Let me also take this opportunity to address and clarify the under recoveries or subsidy on petrol. In a period of economic challenges, where purchasing power is weak, we must reduce some of the burden on Nigerians. The problem with subsidies in the past was abuse and corruption. Today, the government through the NPC is the sole importer of premium PMC, motor, premium motor separate. And therefore, the under recovery is from the NNPC's trading account. This means the possibility of some marketers falsifying claims is removed. <clears throat> the estimate for non-oil revenue consists of 799.52 billion naira from companies' income tax, 229.34 billion naira from value-added tax and customs duties of 302.5 billion naira. We have reduced our expectation from independent revenues to 624.58 billion naira. Other revenues expected in 2019 include various recoveries of 203.38 billion naira, 700 and 10 billion naira as proceeds from the restructuring of government equity in joint ventures and other sundry incomes of 104.1 billion naira. A total expenditure of 8.83 trillion naira is estimated for 2019 budget. This includes grants and donor funds of 209.92 billion naira. This provision is less than 2018 federal government appropriated expenditure estimate of 9.12 trillion naira. However, it is higher than the 8.6 trillion naira originally proposed by the executive branch to the National Assembly for 2018. The budget deficit is projected to decrease to 1.86 trillion naira, or 1.3% of the GDP. In 2019, from 1.95 trillion naira projected to 2018. This reduction is in line with our plans to progressively reduce the deficit and borrowings over the medium term. The proposed 8.83 trillion naira of 2019 aggregate expenditure comprises a recurrent cost of 4.04 trillion naira, recurrent, b debt service of 2.14 trillion naira, and c statutory transfers of about 492.36 billion naira. D, sinking fund of 120 billion naira, which will be used to retire maturing bond to local contractors. And E, capital expenditure of 2.031 trillion naira, including capital supplementation, but excluding the capital 
component of statutory transfers. The provision for statutory transfers in 2019 is 492.36 billion naira, which is a 7% decrease from 2018. However, transfers to Niger Delta Development Commission and the Universal Basic Education Commission are projected to be higher as they are directly related to the quantum of oil revenues. The sum of 2.14 trillion naira has been provided for debt service. Of this amount, 80% is to service domestic debt, which amounts to about 70% of the total debt. I will read that again. The sum of 2.14 trillion naira has been provided for debt service, of which amount 80% is to service domestic debt, which accounts for 70% of the total debt. Although our national debt is within sustainable limits, we need to increase our domestic resource mobilization to bring down our debt revenue ratio over the medium term. A substantial part of the current cost proposal for 2019 is for payment of salaries and overheads in ministries providing critical service, public services as such. A, 569.07 billion naira for the Ministry of Interior. B, 435.62 billion naira for the Ministry of Defense. C, 462.24 billion naira for the Ministry of Education. And D, 315.62 billion naira for the Ministry of Health. The allocations to these ministries represent significant increases over votes in previous budgets, underscoring our commitment to increase investment in national security and human capital development. <laughs> Personal costs estimated at 2.29 trillion naira currently amount to nearly 4% of projected revenues. 40% I beg your pardon. Substantial savings have been made from wider use of integrated personal payroll information system platform. I have directed that all MDAs must implement the IPPIS by March 2019. We have made provisions for staff promotion areas and recruitment by the armed forces, police, and paramilitary agencies. We have also, we have also provided for the settlement of inherited outstanding pension liabilities. Again, we have included provisions for the implementation of a new national minimum wage. <clears throat> Furthermore, 1% of the consolidated revenue fund amounting to 51.22 billion naira has been earmarked for the basic health care provision fund and other related commitments. Let me say something about minimum wage issue. I am committed to addressing the issue of a minimum wage way, of a minimum wage, and I will be sending a bill to you, the National Assembly, on this. However, in order to avoid 